Hey, welcome back. Now, transforming and cleaning text is an essential part for any analyst, teacher, or anybody who deals with Excel worksheets. And luckily, Excel provides a lot of quick and easy ways to transform text in a spreadsheet using native functions. And these functions will actually allow us to extract or find certain pieces of text in a string of text. So let's learn them one by one. So over here, I have a data set. And in this particular list, I have the first name of certain people. And then in this particular list, I have their last name. Now, the first function that we will learn in the text function series is what we call as the concatenate function. And the basic job of a concatenate function is that it joins together two or more text strings. Let's go ahead and learn it. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say equal to concatenate and then I will open brackets. And then when I do that in the tooltip menu, it tells me enter the text one. Okay. Then it gives a comma and then says enter text two comma. So in a way using the concatenate function, I can go ahead and join any number of text strings, but over here I have two. So let's go ahead and do that. So my first text string over here is this. Okay. C seven. And then I'm going to give a comma and then it says, give me text two. So I'm going to go ahead and give this particular text over here, close the brackets, and then I will hit enter. Okay. Now what has happened is it has gone ahead and joined both the names together. Okay. However, there is no space in between. So how can I go ahead and add the space? So what I will do is I will just go ahead and modify my concatenate function a little bit. So I will just go to this particular cell and then I will go ahead and delete this and I will say concatenate. This is my first text. Then I will give a comma. Then what I will do is I will go ahead and type double quotes, give a space and type double quotes again. Now what it will do is the space between these two comma will be considered as a text and it will be concatenated within this particular function. And now I want to go ahead and add my last name over here. I will close this and I will hit enter. So now what it has done is it has gone ahead and clubbed the first and the last name. And now it is giving me the name in the correct format. Now all I need to do is just come to this plus sign over here and I can drag this formula and it does it for my entire data set. Now let's go to the next function over here. Now this function is what we refer to as the length function. And the basic purpose of the length function is that it returns the length of the supplied text string. Now let's understand what do I mean by that. So if at all I go ahead and type this function and then I will open brackets and then I will go ahead and select this particular cell over here, close brackets and then I will hit enter. So now it returns the value as 15. Now that is because if I go ahead and count the characters in this particular cell, it is 15 characters. Okay. So C H R I S T Y that is seven characters. And then M O R A L E S are another seven characters. So that's 14 characters. And then there is a space in between. So it is also considering the space as a text character. So now it has gone ahead and returned the value as 15. So that's the basic purpose of the length function. I will just go ahead and drag this and it gives me the length of all the characters that I have over here. Now let's go ahead and learn the left function. Now, what is the purpose of a left function? Now my left function actually returns a specified number of characters from the start of a supplied text string. So let's understand that with an example over here. So if I start typing my left function over here and I open brackets. So first it is asking me, where is my text? So I will say my text is over here and then I give a comma and then it is asking me number of characters. So in other words, what it is asking me is how many characters from the left hand side should it go ahead and return. So let's say I want only three characters and I will close the brackets and I will hit enter. So in this particular cell, it has gone ahead and picked up the first three characters that is C, H and R and return them after using that function. I can go ahead and drag this. And you can see that it has gone ahead and given me three characters from the supplied text strings. Now, just like the left function, the right function will go ahead and return to me 
the specified number of characters from the end of the supplied text string that is from right to left okay so what i'm going to do is i will say is equal to right open brackets once again it is asking me for the text so i'm going to supply the text give a comma and then it asked me how many number of characters so let's say i want four characters and then i'm going to close the bracket and hit enter and you will observe that it is now going ahead and returning four characters from the specified string over here okay let's go ahead and drag this okay cool now let's come to the mid function now the objective of the mid function is that it returns specific number of characters from the middle of the supplied text string let's see how it functions so over here i'm going to type is equal to mid open brackets and then it is asking me for the text so i will supply the text then i give a comma then it is asking me give me the starting number so let's say i want to start from string number 3 and then it is asking me how many characters so once it starts from the third character how many number of characters should it return so let's say i want five characters and then i will close this and i will hit enter okay so now based upon my formula what it has done is it has picked up the third character and then returned five characters that followed that particular character over there okay so it started from the third character and gave me an output up to the seventh character okay if i go ahead and drag it it gives me a similar output for all the other characters in my data set now we are going to learn a very interesting function and this function is the search function and the objective of the search function is to return the position of a supplied character or a text string from within a supplied text string and this is not case sensitive so let's understand how do we go ahead and use the search function so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type is equal to search open brackets and i want to go ahead and find out where exactly is the space in this particular text string over here because after the first name there is a space and then it is followed by the last name i want to go ahead and find out where exactly is my space so what I'm going to do is to give a space as we have already learned we give a double quote give a space bar and then give a double quote because anything between a double quote will be considered as a text and we haven't given anything between the double quotes so it will be considered as a space which is created by a space bar. So now it's asking me within which particular string it should go ahead and find my value. So I will say the over here and then I will close the brackets and hit enter and when I did that it returned the value as 8. So what it is telling me over here is in this particular text string, space exists on the 8th character because Christy is a 7 letter word and after that there is a space. So it has returned the value as 8. If I go ahead and drag the formula, you will observe that for Dan Gomez, it will return the value as 4 because Dan is a 3 letter word and space exists after 3 characters. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay. So that's how my search function works. So now let's go ahead and learn the application of the search function. And over here, what we will try to achieve is exactly opposite to that of a concatenate function. Concatenate went ahead and clubbed our first name and last name to give us a complete name. Over here, what we will do is we will use the search function to separate the first name and the last name out of the supplied text string. So how can I do that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the left function over here and I will open brackets and then I will say I want the left from this particular text because it is asking me for the text over here. I will give a comma and then it is asking me the number of characters. So I'm going to say I want the number of characters that are equivalent to the search. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close the brackets and I will hit enter okay so now it has gone ahead and returned the first name if I go ahead and drag this formula you will observe that for the entire data range over here out of the supplied text string it has gone ahead and only pulled the first name for me 
And now what we will try to do is we will try to extract the last name out of this data string over here. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the mid function. Okay. So I will say equal to mid. Then I will open brackets. Then it is asking me the text. So my text is available over here. Then it is asking me the starting number. Where should I go ahead and start finding the characters from? So I will say start it from this particular start number. Okay. The value that is returned by my search function. Then I will give a comma. And then it is asking me, give me the number of characters. So let's say I will say, give me the number of characters, which is equivalent to the length. And then I will close it. And then I will hit enter. And just to let you know, this particular way of going ahead and clubbing one formula within another is called as nesting of formulas. In fact, you can also go ahead and type these formulas in one go. But in this particular lecture, what I've done is I have gone ahead and found individual outputs. And now what I'm doing is in the last formula, that is my mid formula, I'm going ahead and using these outputs to get me the required result. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. So now you will observe that it started from the space bar. That is the value that was returned by the search function. Okay. And then found the number of characters, which is equivalent to the length of the string. And then it has gone ahead and returned the last name in this particular string as my output. If I go ahead and drag this particular formula, you will observe that it has gone ahead and returned the last name of all the characters in this supplied string. Now the last but not the least over here at the bottom is something that we refer to as a count a function. Now the objective of count function in numerical values is to give me the count of the total number of values that exist in my data range and count a does exactly the same for my text values. So count a will actually return to me the total number of text values that exist within my data range. How do I use the count a function? Very simple. I'll just delete the function from here. I'll say count a. I will open brackets and then it will ask me where is my data range. I will say my data range is over here. I will go ahead and close this and hit enter. So in a way it is telling me that I have 14 text values in my selected data range. There are many more text functions that we can actually go ahead and use in Excel. But these are the most basic ones and come really handy while going ahead and creating a spreadsheets. As you start learning advanced Excel, you may get introduced to some more additional text functions in future. So that's it about the text functions as of now. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and I shall see you in the next one.